What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I want to take a second to thank each and every single one of you guys out there that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. It means the world to me. Everybody, today, Professor Smurf has got his hands full. So if you guys remember uh, a few videos back, I did a full one step correction and uh, I ceramic coated a BMW M3 for a good buddy of mine. If you want, after this video, go back and check that video out. Well, he bought his wife a new ride and he said, hey man, I want you to take care of it for me. I want you to do your thing and uh, I want you to make this thing look good. I said, no problem. What is it you ask? It is a 2015 Range Rover Sport. This thing is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, supercharged V8, I mean, this thing sounds chunky when you start it. Ah, oh, man, I would love one of these. It was funny, because <laughs> when he dropped it off in the driveway, the wife wasn't home, and when she got home, I said, Merry Christmas, psych, just kidding. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take care of this thing for him. Now, I'm doing a full inside and out, but I didn't have time to shoot the interior detail. You guys, the interior was, really in great shape uh it just needed a light wipe down and a little bit of a vacuum and it was it was good to go you know the center console was the dirtiest part where the cup holder was it's the only part i really had to had to use a brush for but other than that everything kind of wiped down clean uh, i went ahead and got the interior all taken care of and got it washed up and ready um i'm excited though because i'm going to be using my september glove box so real quick guys um i have a discount code for smurf for smurf 20 for 20 percent off your first order your first box for glove box detail it's a subscription-based detail company they send you detail products monthly it's awesome it's all they're always switching it up and they're constantly um just topping each month and they're they're taking it to the next level glove box rocks i'll tell you that glove box rocks so this is i have a subscription I pay for mine, I get one every month. You guys, this is the September box, right? So this is $130 value in this box. So if you sign up right now on your first box, it's like 30 bucks and you get 130 bucks. I'm, I don't know if they have any more September boxes, but this box was legit. Brad, um, Fred, I mean, you guys killed it. Um, I'm excited to use this because it came with the Synergy Paint ceramic coating, which is what we're gonna be putting on the Range Rover. The Synergy Paint coating, it comes with a nice little detailer to, to maintain it. It comes with the Malco Epic Paint Prep. It comes with a nice applicator. Hey Google, is this car gonna look good when I'm done? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, shout out to my man Cash. I know you're gonna be watching this because he said that and it's hilarious because it looks just like it. Hey Google, <laughs> uh, it comes with a couple microfibers and it comes with the instructions about the product. This is fantastic get, and they're only gonna be stepping it up from here guys. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. This glove box is epic. I'm gonna, epic, no pun intended. But yeah, we're gonna be using this Energy Paint ceramic coating. I've never used it before. So we're gonna see how that goes. But before, you know we gotta polish this paint up and make it look perfect. Well, actually, technically I'm not going for perfection on this thing. I'm looking for a great one step, remove a good amount of defects. This thing is swirled up like crazy, guys. So I'm not chasing perfection. I want to restore some nice shining gloss, get rid of some of them swirls, and get it ready for the coating we're going to put on. So I'm excited. I'm going to get set my cart set up, my polisher set up, and we're going to dive right into this, guys. So let's get over on the cart, go over a few things before we jump on the paint.
All right, everybody, we are set up. You know, you guys are probably wondering, man, he does the same thing every time. Hey, if you're getting good results, why stray away? <laughs> but um, as you guys can see, this gorgeous Range Rover behind me, we are set up. I've got a few polishes and compounds to play around with. I've got the um, ice from Extreme Solutions, Fast Correcting Cream from Rio's, and Stone X Perfect Finish. I've got a few pads going on. I've got my Eurofiber 50-50. I got a couple Rupes yellow pads. You guys know I like those. And I've got a um, Lake Country medium cup pad as well. So I'm going to start out with my um, Sonax Perfect Finish and a yellow pad. Not really an aggressive, you know, start because you want to start least aggressive because you don't want to jump into cutting the paint. I know, I know I say this all the time, but like I say this as well. There could be someone watching this video for the first time on my channel that's not even subscribed. So you want to start out with a light approach. You don't want to jump in and start mowing down clear because it's very, 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 very thin. Um, I, I would assume, you don't ever want to assume, but this is a nice car. Maybe it's got some more quality paint on it, but still. Don't jump in and start cutting clear off more than you need to. Start with the light approach. Do a few passes. Check your work. And uh, if you're happy, stick with that. If you're not, bump it up from there. But don't just jump in. You can always, you can always step up aggression, but you can't put clear back on the paint. I mean, you can, but you know what I'm trying to say. So, um, yeah, I'm set up. I got my Shinemate EX6 2015 millimeter. Freaking loving that polisher, guys. Uh, I've got my G8 over there. Oh, oh, I also I got something coming. I got something coming to me. Shout out to the man, Jordan. Jordan. I know you don't really watch my videos that often, but I appreciate you, bro. I got something coming, guys. You guys want to stay tuned. Um, got my G8 over there for my small spots. Let me get you guys off of here. I'm about to get set up. I'm going to show you the paint on this thing. And it's going to need some Smurf love. So, Professor Smurf, time to go to work. All right, everybody. So, this is the gorgeous... Oh, man, this thing is freaking nice but the paint not so nice let me see if i can get this on camera for you guys yeah this paint needs some some smurf love guys needs some smurf love yeah this paint is bad i, I can't say it's the worst i've had but It definitely needs some love. So, let's get set up. Let's get to it. I'm going to do a test section probably. Probably going to do a section here. See how that comes out. And then we'll move over here. Do another section. Do over there another section. A lot of real estate. A lot of paint. But I'm uh, fortunate because the roof is pretty much all glass. <laughs> So I don't need to polish that. So let's get set up and get to work. All right, everybody. So we're pretty much set up. Uh, I did forget to mention though, I did wash it and clay it. I did my two stage decon. I ran my iron remover on it. There was some iron in the back of the car. Uh, the rest of the car, not as much, uh, but the back of the car did have some iron. So before you start polishing, I always say this, uh, make sure you do your necessary wash, decon, um get it pretty much stripped you want to get all those contaminants out of the paint before you start to polish uh sorry for the camera view by the way my tripod doesn't go up that high i guess my 11 dollar amazon tripod after a year and a half i need to upgrade but i'm pretty much set up i got my polisher here i went around the whole truck and I used my prep wipe and I prep wiped it before I polish just to make sure I'm gonna do this little section over here I got my apron on so Professor Smurf just turned into Chef Smurf El Presidente as Cash would say all right so I got my first combo is gonna be Sonax perfect finish and my yellow uh, roots pad we're gonna try that out first right here on the corner we're gonna see what that gets us Uh, three de three decent sized drops should do. I'm gonna dab it out. Stick around speed. 
three and a half ish, maybe four. We'll see what this will give us. what that can give us sorry I didn't grab a wipe off towel smurf you're slacking let's see what that's gonna give us as far as defect removal this is gonna tell me a lot of people ask me you know how do I tell if the off how do I tell if the clear is hard your first you know this is what's gonna tell you everybody so doing these test sections the clear is gonna talk to you this this Sonax Perfect Finish and the yellow pad is a is a soft approach. So if you check your defects and you're getting great defect removal, I mean you've already removed 70% off of that light approach, that's going to tell you that the clear coat is on the soft side because it it you can remove those defects e easier. Now if I do this and it it didn't make a difference at all then you know your clear coat's on the harder side, so you gotta have to bump it up and you're gonna have to attack it a little bit more aggressive. So, a lot of my subscribers ask me, how do I know if it's soft? How do I know if it's, you know, you know, hard or, or medium, you know? Well, that's gonna tell you. So, let me get you guys off of here real quick. And let's see what kind of defect removal we got. Whoo! <laughs> that actually looks freaking good, guys. Check that out. Holy cow! Compared to over here. Ooh! This looks great that looks fantastic guys so <laughs> that actually did extremely extremely well so now my decision is do I need to do I need to go any more than that? There's some deeper scratches in there. I'm not going after. Honestly, that looks really freaking good. So I don't, I don't need to bump up. I really don't, honestly. That looks absolutely phenomenal. So you know what, guys? Now here's the thing. If I would have started out with my Eurofiber pad and my fast correcting cream, it would look phenomenal right don't get me wrong but look at what i accomplished with just a light approach so that is the key to starting light i'm happy with that and we're leaving clear on the paint so honestly i'm not even going to waste my time i'm going to stick with that and i'm happy let's get to work all right everybody quick update I take a little bit of a break. I'm working at a slower pace than I normally am, you guys. Whoo! But this thing is looking good. I wanted to give you guys a quick update, real quick. I've got pretty much the whole, the whole front end is done, and I went ahead and I worked the whole top section here with my three inch, and then I came back on the bottom with my three inch, my Grails Garage G8, and I worked the whole bottom before I switch back to my five inch to do the middle sections but I just want to show you guys where I'm at as far as defects all right so we went ahead and here let me turn this off so I can show you guys with my actual light all right so we've got this door completely done 
have a look at that guys hopefully you guys can see that let me come over here to this door I haven't done there we go there's a better shot for you guys sorry you guys are gonna make fun of me clicking this light it looks fantastic guys Let me switch this to the other light. There you go. Easier to see that way. Not bad. Too super hazy. Really looks awesome. Ugh, so, quick update. That pad I found that on my Shine Mate polisher. I found speed four was decent, but speed five, it likes, I don't know, for some reason that perfect finish likes to be worked at speed five on my Shine Mate, but it really did. This thing is looking fantastic, guys. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Looks, it looks awesome, guys. I'm also going to restore this plastic trim too you can see a little bit right there got caught up with my pad a little bit and it looks fantastic so working down the left side you guys my back is killing me so i'm working at a little bit of a slower pace but just to give you guys a representation this is the other door on this side and the upper section here really is pretty bad we're gonna do these mirrors too so quick update so smurf's gonna get back to work i'm probably gonna have to finish this thing up tomorrow uh and coat it because i am whooped so let's let's get back to work all right everybody we are back at it you guys this is day two for smurf um quick update i got the whole front end done the whole right side the whole left side done now what I'm starting to do is work on the mirror and the pillars. Um, as I work those, then I'm going to uh, work the roof back. Uh, but I wanted to touch basis and, and on this subject because this whole time I've been using my um, Sonax Perfect Finish with my yellow pad and it's doing fantastic up until I got to the rear bumper back here, guys. Did you hear my knees crack? Okay, so this quarter panel here, yellow Rupes pad, perfect finish, no problems. I mean, check this out. It looks fantastic, right? Perfect, no problem. I jumped down here with the Sonax, perfect finish in the yellow pad, didn't even touch it. I mean, didn't even touch it. I tried my Eurofiber pad. Didn't even touch it. I threw some fast correcting cream in a Eurofiber pad. Barely touched it. Jumped over to my microfiber pad, my Boss microfiber pad and the fast correcting cream, and that did a pretty good job. But is it perfect? No way. But this bumper was probably repainted. That's gotta be the only reason why the whole car is soft and that bumper is clear is really hard so although i've been using the sonax perfect finish in the yellow pad for a majority you've got to adapt to scenarios if you realize that's not working bump it up bump it up bump it up i'm not going to cut any more on it because i don't feel like chopping down this clear as you guys can see there are still some imperfections in there but it looks pretty darn good. I haven't done down here yet, as you guys can see. But yeah, adapt to your scenarios, guys. This thing's looking killer. Oh, another thing. So check this out, guys. You guys can see the extreme oxidation, the sun damage. I don't even need my paint light, guys. This is some extreme oxidation here. And I just, same, same pad combo. 
my Sonax Perfect Finish and my yellow pad. You can see right here, I got a little, little bit of that transfer on there. That's fine, it cleans right out. Look at that difference, guys. Huge difference. And the same thing with this mirror too. All this was oxidized. I couldn't get my polisher in here. Um, so I had to do it by hand, you know, but it still looks much better than it did, even, even by hand. Mirror looks awesome, guys. Let me show you what this side looks like. This thing's looking glossy as all get out. As you guys can see how this side looked. You can see how chalky that is down here. You can see right where, where I was polishing, I touched up on it. So that Sonax Perfect Finish and a yellow pad did awesome there. Same thing with all these pillars. These pillars are trashed. Every single one of them oxidized. It's bad, guys. So I got I to gotta get to work. I'm running behind. Uh, all right. All right, one more update, guys. Um, so I'm working my way around this trim here. I did a nice 50-50 on this back panel so you guys could see. Hey! Sheesh. Check that out. What a 50-50 there. Look at all that oxidation. We're just bringing that gloss out. Man, I can't wait for him to see this. This thing is gonna look so good. The only thing that sucks is can't get up under there. I don't have my Dremel polisher, which would come in handy here, but you can even see here. Look at that. Man, a lot more work. A lot more work than I anticipated, but we're gonna get it done. Whoops. All right, everybody. Smurf is whooped this thing the whole back tailgate was just ridiculous I mean the paint was the clear was so hard I just I can't I can't believe it with what I was able to accomplish with just a uh, Sonax perfect finish and a yellow pad all over the car and then the the back trunk hey what's up buddy the back trunk was just rock solid but this thing is completely polished up I mean I haven't even coated it yet guys and check out that gloss really turned out really turned out nice now you can go this. that's all right bud we'll fold it up say hi to everybody hi <laughs> got my munchkin out here but yeah this thing looks awesome I'm getting ready I'm just cleaning up I'm gonna get set up ready to coat oh man this thing kicked my butt but man would you guys look at that and it's only gonna get better guys all right everybody so i'm set up i'm ready to coat you guys i have that uh that that puck applicator that came in the glove box but i really like these from auto fiber um i can really get into like smaller places and maneuver it a little bit better so i like these from auto fiber i really really enjoy these for coatings Got that. I got my my pro coating right here. I took the little thing out of the top because I'm using my, my little throwaway droppers, by the way. Got a whole bag of them. It was like four bucks for these on Amazon. There's like 250 of them or something like that. Why not? They work just fine. And then you throw them away. Um, so I got my little dropper here. Let's see. On the back of the box, it says... Oops, sorry guys it says wash vehicle okay clay compound polish wipe down surface i wiped everything down with the Ep epic ceramic prep wipe you guys this thing smells like straight isopropyl alcohol straight isopropyl alcohol um i kind of enjoy like a uh, geom prep or or something in that nature better it's just it just smells better and it's it's I don't know. I, I don't know. That's my personal opinion. So, let's see. Wrap foam applicator block. Yeah, I'm not using the applicator block. Um, apply a thin coating using a crisscross pattern. Allow product to flash 30 seconds, then gently wipe surface with a microfiber towel. Allow it to cure for 24 hours before exposure to water 
or environment. All right, so we're ready. I'm gonna get you guys set up and we're gonna do a little test section. I'm thinking about just doing it right here. Doing a little test spot, seeing how this works, seeing how you know responsive and to see how easy it is. I've never used this coating before, guys. So you guys are gonna come along with me on my journey using this coating for the first time. All right, so let me get you guys set up. All right, everybody. So sorry about the camera angle. I need to get a taller tripod. Yes, I know. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my pad. with a few lines. It does smell kind of strong. I'm gonna open the door. Get some air flow in here. So I got a few lines right here. On my applicator pad, I got my towel one and my towel two in my apron. I'm gonna start right here and I'm just gonna do this section here and we're gonna see, uh, you know, we're gonna see how this coating works. Just follow the line of the... I can already see it rainbowing. All right. Oh, a little bit grabby. It's all right. Wow, you can really see it on this white. I'll have to bring you guys in and show you here in just a second. I can already feel it getting tacky. So I'm gonna set my applicator down. Now it says wait 30 seconds. I can still see a rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. We're gonna call that good because it's uh it's hot here. Towel one coming in. All right. Towel two. That was pretty easy. That was pretty easy, to be honest. I was kind of worried because I've never used this coating before, but. Not bad at all. All right, well. Let me bring you guys in for an application on this side. I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like. All right, so we already got this section done right here. It's not very slick yet. It's weird. It's all right though. Making sure I got everything off. Towel two, all right. Got my towel one here and my towel two here, so. All right, so let's go ahead and put another line on here. that back in the thing Put the cap on I will show you guys application so I think we went right about here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here we're gonna go on here we're definitely gonna coat this 
Go around here. Like so. Sorry guys, terrible freaking camera work. I'm trying to pay attention here. All right, so we've got, all right. Make sure you pay attention to your adjacent panels. It's already rainbowing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, uh, maybe you can kind of see it. There's still plenty on the uh, applicator. All right, so we're gonna call that good. Let's see if my light, see if my light will show some rainbowing. No, not showing any, but you can see the coating right there, the line. And it says wait 30 seconds and then wipe off but it is it's 83 degrees here so it's not as hot as it normally is but i don't want to wait too long and have it be you know hard to remove so we'll see all right we're gonna go ahead and start to wipe off now this first towel wipe is to Kind of helps spread the coating in a little more. All right. We got that done. We're going to go for towel two here. We're going to throw it on the paint if I can get it correct. And we're going to go ahead and buff off. This isn't the slickest coating. Compared to the past few coatings I've done that have some slickness as you uh, as you kind of grab the second towel, you can feel that slickness. But this one doesn't doesn't really feel like it has that slickness. But that's all right. All right, not bad actually. Really not bad. Let's see. Looks good. Looks good to me. That was actually really easy. Although it may not be the slickest. That was actually easy. Now make sure you check your panels down here for coating that you pushed that you pushed while applying and even wiping off. So come down here, you want to make sure you wipe down here as well. It's funny, the paint feels slicker down here than up here, but once that cures then that's a different story so cool that's actually really easy guys so i'm way way over my time on this thing so i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna coat this thing um and then come back and i'm gonna show you guys i uh, i contacted them and they said it's not meant for plastic so i'm gonna be coating the plastic with my ethos ceramic matrix coating that i have left but yeah i'm gonna get to work guys all right everybody so a quick update man i am whooped but okay guys so i think i got this coating figured out well i hope i have enough to finish because uh <laughs> our uncle came by for a with a gift for my daughter and uh accidentally knocked my bottle over and i lost about a quarter of my bottle it's okay i think i should be able to get the rest done i'm gonna do the plastic and the trim with the uh, the ethos because they said uh, they said this wasn't for plastic, so I'm gonna use that on the plastics. Uh, but yeah, so on the directions it says apply and wait 30 seconds, then wipe off. I'll tell you right now, that does not work. It is a pain in the butt to get off, and it's only oh, it's 5:21. It is only 82 degrees right now. I'm getting flashing immediately, rainbowing, and I have to wipe it off pretty much immediately. So if you're in any kind of um, hotness or it's 83, if it's 83 where you're at, I'm telling you, when you apply, when you're done applying, 
you grab your number one towel. By the time you grab your number one towel, it's ready to come off and it comes off very easy. If you wait, it is a pain in the butt on this door. Also, what I've noticed is normally I could work this almost this whole door and then come back and then wipe off, but no way. You gotta break it into sections. So what I do is uh, I did from here to here to here. Did that section apply? By the time I look up, it's already rainbowing like crazy and then I wipe off, it comes off awesome. So this thing is looking <laughs> incredible guys. You guys have no idea. No idea. I'm excited. I got to get to work. I've got this right rear door to do, the back section, and then the left side door is in the back. So let's get to work, Smurf. Quit jibber jabbering. All right, everybody. Man, I cannot find the words right now to express to you guys how good this car looks. It is by no means perfect. Believe me. It's by no means perfect, everybody, but it came in in terrible shape. And this thing looks absolutely just <sighs> bling-tastic, glossum. I mean, Professor Smurf just, <sighs> I am speechless, guys. Oh, man, got the tires dressed up. That Wobo's Tire Restore, you guys, that's, that's one of my favorite tire signs. This thing is glowing. I mean, I cannot wait till tomorrow when he comes to pick this thing up. Check this thing out, everybody. Under the lights, oh man. Got all the, everything coated, all the glass. I'm pretty sure this front windshield was coated because it was extremely hydrophobic i'm talking like even after washing it and claying it all that kind of nothing changed so i didn't even touch the windshield that thing was freaking crazy hydrophobic i'm pretty sure it's got a windshield coating on it i wasn't going to polish it off and do any of that uh but every all the other glass is coated uh, man this thing just looks killer just absolutely incredible i did dial in the interior as well i didn't film it but i did dial in the interior it was already pretty clean, but I went ahead and took care of it. The inside looks phenomenal. Not one little fingerprint or smudge on anything. That's what I like. Very, very happy right now, guys. Very happy. I cannot, like, I, I can't say it enough. It's not perfect. But this thing... <laughs> oh! It looks incredible!
music of our sphere. The gift of life is never more or less. It starts at any time you like and ends in just a wink. All right, everybody, we are in a quick final thoughts segment. Professor Smurf is taxed beyond belief. This thing took the last two days uh, for me to complete full inside out. And as you guys can see, this thing looks. So those fellow detailers out there, uh, enthusiasts, weekend warriors, you know when you take pride in a job and you just, I, and most excited about him seeing this thing so the past two days it has been hard work yes my back's been killing me but this thing looks freaking incredible and i am i'm blown away at what i was able to bring out with this thing and um my goal was to make their jaw drop i just uh as you guys you know will see um I'm gonna get their reaction. So for those of you that are watching, stay tuned because after this, there'll be the uh, the reaction when they pick this thing up. But man, this thing came in hurting. I mean, it was hurting bad. Such a beautiful car and uh, it was just neglected. It was severely neglected. The paint needed a lot of work. Um, few things, um, as you guys saw, my go-to for 90% of this freaking car was my, um, let's see, my, my yellow Rupes pad and my Sonax Perfect Finish, and that did pretty much everything. Now, what can you take away from that is, that's a very light approach to achieve the results that I achieved. Now, don't get me wrong, when it came to the back bumper, that was a different story. When I got to the back bumper, that thing had to be repainted. This thing is a 2015, it's almost seven years old, uh, but my that combo, the, the yellow Rubes pad and the Sonax Perfect Finish did nothing on the back tailgate or the bumper. I ended up having to grab my Griot's Garage microfiber cutting pad and my Fast Correcting Cream from Griot's and that, and I still had to do I did a few passes, wiped it off, and had to go back in again. Now, here's the thing that you guys gotta take from this is, um, at the beginning, I said, hey, if you're getting the defect removal that off of a light approach, stick to it. You know, you don't wanna mow down the clear, but I can promise you, <laughs> the Sonax perfect finish and the yellow pad, it did nothing. I mean, I didn't see any change in defects, and I was like, holy cow, this is some hard clear. So, that is how you know Soft clear, hard clear. 95% of the car, soft. The rear section, hard. You gotta be able to adapt. Um, but it turned out phenomenal, guys. Oh yeah, and in mid detail, um, guess what showed up? A new little toy that Smurf got. The new, the not new, but new to me, Flex uh, PXE80, everyone calls it the Pixie 80 quick disconnect dude this thing is bad i played around with this a little bit but i didn't expect to keep this thing you're supposed to get it back tonight it's sunday right now i've had it since saturday so i mean it's monday holy cow see that's what happens when you lose your you lose train of thought when you're detailing but i went through a, a variety of pads uh with trying to figure out what was going to cut the rear bumper and it ended up with you know, my Griot's Garage microfiber pad, fast correcting cream, that was the go-to combination. I still followed it up with the per, uh, per perfect finish and the yellow pad just to, to jewel it out and, and whatnot. But we corrected and coated pretty much every outside surface on this thing. The plastics, I used my uh, Ethos ceramic matrix coating because they said not to use this on plastics, I guess. And that's how much I got left, guys. And uh, yeah, I'd say about a quarter of the bottle was spilt out. So that's fine, it's all good. Wiped it down with my Epic Ceramic, you know, prep wipe before I applied it. So this thing looks just, I'm blown away, to be honest. And uh, I hope they are blown away as well. We'll see that here in just a second. But I wanna take the time and say uh, thank you guys to all you guys that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. It means the world to me, it really does. If 
you guys have any questions about anything that I use, please just ask me in the comments. I will reply to you as quick as I can. I love, you know, answering and helping out and, and whatnot to all my subscribers. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, I wanna say if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. While you're down there, smash that thumbs up for me and click that little notification bell. That way when I upload more videos like this or product reviews or how to's, all that kind of stuff, you'll get notified. I hope you guys all out there have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever it is where you're at right now watching this video. And I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Enjoy the customer's reaction. Look at that. Look at that, yeah. Bowers. They were really scratched, huh? They were oxidized bad. Oh. Really bad. Yeah, because she, she was like, uh, did you tell them about the... No, the know, best, <laughs> I, I noticed that after I took her to the car wash, all of a sudden those things were like... They are like white. They were yeah, like, and yeah. I'm like, is the paint coming off? That was just oxidation. Oxidation. That, yeah. That's from the water hey, look, they use? Look, come on, come on, come on. That's here. from the sun, come basically. Here, look at it. it Look, and now it's, it's, now it's like a mirror. Yeah. Look at it. Touch it, it huh? Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Look, this looks like, like, like silk. Silky. It's a silky smooth. <laughs> it's so silky smooth. You can tell he loves this. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I love it when the, when the bottom is silky smooth. Oh, yeah. It's silky smooth. <laughs> right? Look at Dude. his hood, bro. Dude. <laughs> They did a. And, and oh, you did also the, the headlights too. Uh, yeah, coated the headlights. Coated the headlights. Hex. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. It's amazing. It looks. Ah. Uh, oh, pop the hood. It's like a mirror. Look at the hood. Hold on, we're about to see the interior. Oh yeah, the interior. It was already in good shape, but still needed to be yeah, cleaned yeah. and protected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protected. Yeah. You coated this yeah, too. Yeah, I coated the plastic. Oh. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> All this brand wow. new. Clean. Brand. Oh my God! Look. Nice. See this? Oh my! God. I mean, this is how it should have looked when you bought it. Yeah. When we bought it. Yeah. Then that's what you know. When I got it, I'm like, that's the first thing I did. The first person I called you was you, because I knew. Yeah. I was like, oh my! I mean, I love the car, but wow. no, oh my this is just.